go ahead and show you how to use the PDF viewer, the poll feature, and the quiz feature. Some great features to use within the classroom. So for PDF, you're going to look for the PDF viewer here on your Nearpod um, screen here. Click on PDF viewer. And this is just for you, let's say that you wanted your students to work on some type of, you know, um, let's see, I don't have any PDFs here. Um, but let's say that you wanted um, your students to work on something in general for your EL curriculum or um, for math. And so what you are going to do, I'm going to search up PDF here. Let's say I want students to work on this task here. So I'm going to press select. Or if you want students to just read something, whatever it is, it's just for a way for students to be able um, to just look at it in general. Um, they can read it. They can work on, um, on the problem on a separate sheet of paper, whatever you want them to do. And so that is the PDF viewer. The poll feature. I use this um, just to kind of um, check on the students to see where they're at. And so for the poll feature, you can say, you know, how are you? How are you feeling today? Whatever it is. Um, of course, I'm just putting generic um, type questions in here, but you can um, put whatever you want. I'm feeling well, not feeling. And then go ahead and, and you can also add an image. You can add audio to it. Let's say for your second, you know, your um, English language learners, you want to go ahead and say it out loud. You can, you know, record it and press save. And then you have it here. So when you're going through this lesson, you are able to kind of check on your students and your students are able to see um, the results from the poll that you took. And so hope that helps for that feature. The next one is the quiz feature. Now if you didn't want if you don't want to use Canvas or any other program, if you just want to just do a quick quiz for the students, you're gonna click on quiz here. And um, you can title the quiz. I'm just going to do something generic. Again, you can add image. You can add the audio recorder with you actually saying, um, you know, reading out, reading the question out loud. Um, you can add a video. Sometimes for my, um, for my students, I would add a video um, that goes with the question. So then they will watch the video and then answer the question here. So you can use it any which way you want. So I'm gonna put, you know, five plus five here, and then you can do eight or 10, and then you have to make sure you click on the answer that you want, um, or that is correct. And then down here, you can add an answer if you wanna, wanna give students more options, or you can even add a question if you wanted to just, add, I don't know, just more and more questions, however you want. This is a feature that I often use. Now you can also add a timer for this quiz. Um, I usually don't put the timer on um, just to, so that my students will, you know, have enough time, but that's up to you. And again, um, use this feature. Uh, if you want to read the question out loud to your students, or if you want to tie a video or or reading to it from a PDF um, or anything, okay, that you want or a web um, something from a website, and then you just press save, and you have your quiz available um, for students. And now, when you save, um, just notice that it get it takes you back to the first slide, but you're just gonna scroll down to where it says quiz, and then that is your quiz feature. Hope that helps.